Hey guys, it's Biggs. Now, I'm on the road again. I'm constantly on the road for my job. It's my livelihood. And I'm far away from my family, about nine hours away in a hotel. And uh, I found something really, really funny in the hotel. And I thought it was really funny, so I had to share it with you guys. But normally, you know, I, I, when I'm on the road, it's usually because I'm away from home, I'm away from the farm. This is usually the time where I get the, the most of the, the, the creative juices start going and stuff. And that's where the talks come. And that's where all the videos come. And at least all the inspiration comes from that standpoint. Uh, and then when I'm home or when I'm, you know, whenever I plan, then I can go and do those videos and stuff. But a lot of the editing and all that stuff and putting it together for you guys all happens when I'm on the road. But uh, this, one's, this one's just funny to me. So whether you like it or not, I don't care. But I think it's pretty, pretty funny. So it involves this. <laughs> Hold on. You're probably wondering why, why this or this would have any relationship to whatsoever that Biggs would find so funny. Well, Biggs finds stuff funny on the TV all the time. I don't really watch a lot of TV, honestly, at home. If I watch 40, a 40-minute 40 show once a week or twice a week with my wife, you know, that'd probably be about it. Because honestly, when I'm at home, we don't really have a lot of downtime. Uh, and when I'm on the road, uh, I usually I've got the headphones on and I'm doing editing or narrating or something like that. And I'm doing stuff like that or I'm putting together orders from the day before, things like that. But I just don't watch a lot of TV, but I was flip, just turning on the channel today, just to have something like background noise while I was doing stuff this morning, and I came across something that I just had to share with you guys. So this is just ordinary hotel, ordinary TV. Let's take a peek at what he found. Now, I don't know what you guys do, but because of the way I travel, and I'm traveling all the time, I have to think about my friends at home, my fish tanks. Not my friend friends, not my people friends, my fish friends. I have to think about my fish friends and how I'm going to take care of them while I'm away. Now, I have a pretty amazing wife, as you guys know, and she, she, she will digitally go down there and she'll take care of fish and she'll feed the fish and things like that for me. And I always try to make it as easy as possible. And you guys already know that my, my fish room is pretty much automated. Uh, I don't have a ton, a ton of tanks like I used to in the past just because it's just too much work for me because I'm, I'm never there to take care of them. Uh, so I have a small amount of tanks. But what do you guys do when you go on the road? If you go on the road, you go on a vacation, you buy those silly little feeder blocks, you may as well throw a, a handful of drywall mud in your tank. Uh, what do you guys do? Do you have somebody come and take care of them? Well, I got my wife, she takes care of them. I don't know what you guys do. But what do you do when you're on the road? You don't have any fish while you're on the road. Well, my, in my livelihood, I sell pet supplies. So I'm in pet stores all the time. So I'm seeing fish all the time. Every day I get to see fish, so it's a good thing for me. But what do you do when you're in your hotel? I don't know. Let's take a look. <laughs> it's an aquarium. <laughs> it's on my TV. It's called the Aquarium Channel. And it basically just runs 24 hours a day. And it never changes. Very populated. Clearly what a reef tank would sound like too. Lots of bubbles. There's nice clownfish going by there. You know. But whatever. I just thought it was really, really funny. But you know what the best part is? The absolute best part about this? Is because I'm in Canada, right? So, if we go to the guide, if we go to the guide, you can see it here, the aquarium channel. But because we're in Canada, we can also watch it in French. Sounds totally different. The bubbles sound French now. I don't know who this is for. I don't know who would ever watch this. <laughs> Maybe if you had a baby and you had fish tanks at home and you're on the road and you put this there to soothe the baby. I don't know. But would you guys ever watch something like this? I don't know if it changes. I'm just going to turn it on. I'm just going to leave it on now for the day and uh, check it periodically when I come back. And I wonder if, because it's on 24 hours a day, is it the exact same picture all the time? Does it change up? Remember those old screen savers you used to get for your laptop that had the different things? So you could have like, a, like electric yellows in with clownfish and like have fresh water and salt water in a planted tank. It didn't really matter. All, all the rules are broken just because it's on TV. This is just corny to me. What do you guys think? Would you ever watch this? I just want to see if they actually do anything different. I want to know if, like, in an, you know, at 3 o'clock, does the programming change, and now it's a salt water, a freshwater planted tank, and then at 7 o'clock during peak times, it's a cichlid aquarium or something. Like, that's what I want to know. But 
don't know. We'll get you the answers.